nerfers cannot gain anything without giving something in return. To obtain, something of equal value must be lost. That is Hasbro's first law of equivalent foam exchange. You know, Nerf as a brand and Hasbro as a company are very tricky. When I got my X-Shot Long Shot Pro, I was like, that's it, I'm done. I never need to go back to Nerf. And then they release something. They release something that hooks you in. And not because it's a performance blaster. No, it's a gimmicky blaster. And I love my gimmicky blasters. You can say what you want about Nerf in regards to the whole like pro Nerf line, pro Nerf ball, whatever, we all know how that's gonna go. They can definitely make a fun gimmicky blaster. And that's what we got here with the Nerf Double Punch. It's a really fun, really gimmicky blaster. I can tell it's not meant for me, but my God, would I have fun at a stock war. Which believe it or not, people still do have Nerf stock wars. This has two barrels and it has a stagnated trigger pull, which means when you press down, one barrel shoots. When you release, it shoots the other barrel. A lot of gimmicky fun. Now, why is that fun? Because it's just different. It's nice to see Nerf as a brand innovating and doing crazy things again. In all honesty, I haven't had this much fun since the Flip 32, which I'm not a big fan of those blasters, but they are fun to use. So here, this kind of like shroud is kind of like this rubbery silicon-ish material that kind of moves when you pull the trigger. I do like it, but I worry that it might be too thin. It's probably gonna be the first thing that's gonna get ripped off by kids. And I mean, that's just the nature of playing with toys in general. It also does have one flywheel cage, two flywheel cages. And I think you guys are already thinking what I'm thinking with the dual flywheel cages. Of course, there is no barrel attachment point because there would need to be two of them. So uh, F in the chat for Coop. There is also no stock attachment point either, which is kind of a bummer because it is kind of small for me. I really have to choke up on it. But I'll also give the caveat that I don't think Nerf is for adult Nerfers anymore, which kind of sounds paradoxical. If this could be modded in some way to give us a longer stock, I would appreciate it. I would probably run it because it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. It also does kind of have a nice little built-in angled foregrip here, which is pretty comfortable to hold. I won't lie. There is dark storage up here, which I think they just should have omitted and made it a carry handle. But um, me trying to carry it does flex that plastic a bit, as you guys might see. And Nerf Elite 2.0 plastic. We kind of already know how that is. It also has dual mag releases, one for each individual mag. You guys are probably asking, what about drums? Well, I have seen people work drums in here. I don't know what they've done to do it, but two 35 round drums can fit one angled one way, one angled the opposite way. But drums aside, let's talk about the quality of their 10 dart mags, which yes, we only get 10 dart mags. It is very, I mean, look at that, this very, quality stress marks on the plastic right here I can forgive a lot of stuff for nerf but I mean this is just deliberate cutting corners and it looks it looks atrocious it looks terrible and it feels terrible in hand this is just light pressure I don't anticipate these to last all that long good thing I have a lot of 12 mags a lot of 10 banana mags and a lot of 18 rounders just hanging around it also only runs on four AA batteries, so we kind of know what type of performance to expect. When I ran it over my crony getting 71.3 average, uh, for having dual stage flywheels, it, I mean, 71 is pretty good considering it's a big drain on four AA's. Uh, it's not fantastic by any means, but I mean, it's better than what I was expecting. And Nerf, Hasbro, your blaster should hit a minimum of 70 FPS. I'm talking about the little ones, even the jolts too. Give us that minimum of 70 FPS, this way when it goes higher, we're impressed and we're happy. You also get 50 darts included, which is well more than the 20 you're gonna be shooting off. Now caveat, they are elite style darts. We know what to expect with that. I got mine loaded up, so this is gonna be like my first firing, first impressions. Uh, let's go for it. It's um, it's two stripes super glued together. <laughs> now the stagnated trigger does make it so you have to like really pick and choose your shots if you're gonna do it. However, 
the fact that it is a stagnated trigger means that you can essentially have the rate of fire be whatever you're humanly capable of. Keeping in mind, of course, it is still a stock Nerf blaster, so uh, your performance will vary. Not too bad. I'm impressed for a stock blaster. Caveat for a stock blaster, I'm impressed and I'm happy with it. It's all gonna depend on how it performs on the field. So, to the field we go. <laughs> Firing day for the double punch. I'm gonna go ahead and throw an optic on. This is just for my general peace of mind. This will help me aim. It's not gonna increase the accuracy all that much. Not too bad, but it's basically a stock blaster. You kind of know what to expect already. We're gonna go ahead and mag dump with 218s. That definitely just kind of turned into a very low powered dart hose at the end, but uh, was it fun? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go talk about this. So I've had the double punch for a few days, had the chance to test it quite extensively. The firing footage was actually just a small piece of what I ended up actually doing. But you guys wanna know, purchase our pass. Would I recommend the double punch? If you like gimmicky old school Nerf blasters, yes, double punch is for you. If you are looking for a performance-based blaster, then no, the double punch is not for you. If you are looking for a fun project that can probably mod up a whole manner of ways, especially with the dual flywheel cage, which I already have ideas firing off in my head, then yes, the double punch is for you. If you're looking for a blaster to surprise people with at a war, yeah, I would say the double punch is for you. 30 bucks is a bit on the high side. You could wait in all honesty and actually try to thrift this, but I don't know what condition these kind of little muzzle brake silicone rubbery things will be in if you get one at a thrift. But if you're just looking for a plain, good old fashioned, borderline old school Nerf good time, double punches for you. I'm Bots. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this review. Comment, do you have the double punch? Are you still looking for it? It actually took me four Walmart, so I was able to actually find this one at the fifth one. Share this video around as it helps my channel as well as the community in general grow. I have Discord below, Film After Dark, as well as a podcast, also Film After Dark, on all the major podcast platforms, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, Spotify, etc. Go check us out there. We've been having some really fun talks there lately and some really fun guests. There's also a link down to my store down below if you guys ever want to buy any Botch and Blasters. T-shirts, Film After Dark, caps, hoodies, whatever you like. Channel membership is now open as well. If you're interested in uh, supporting me that way, it's greatly appreciated. You can get yourself some exclusive uh, emojis to use, some fun little rinks to use whenever I stream on YouTube, as well as exclusive access to some secret access on my Discord server. But yeah, guys, until then, I'm Bots and Blasters, and I hope to see you guys again next time on The Battlefield.